looted. He only discovered the wartime significance of the estate he'd grown up in many years later. Worcester was specifically chosen for its distance from the coast and potential aerial bombardment from bases in occupied Europe. It was the very heart of England. Just outside Worcester is one of the most spectacular Elizabethan homes in the country. Madrasfield Court was the inspiration behind Evelyn Waugh's most famous novel, Brideshead Revisited. And it was here that the royal family would have come if they'd been forced to flee London. The plans were laid. All that the owners would have known about it is that one morning a policeman would come to the door and serve them with a requisition notice. It wouldn't even tell the owners of Mothersfield Court at that time that it was the king who was going to occupy. That would be a very top secret matter. All that they would know was that they had to pack their bags and leave their house. Jeff Devereux now believes it was more than just coincidence that he was specifically chosen to be a guerrilla. Yes, this was always a mystery to me. Uh, uh, I know the answer now, but uh, I didn't at the time. My family were tenant farmers on the estate, and um, I suppose that's why uh, I was the first. They said, well, this father was born there. He, he should know if anybody does. So you were actually selected to protect the royal family? Well, I didn't know that at the time, of course, but <laughs> and I, it wasn't so much protecting them as uh, helping to secure their protection, shall we say. It was a similar story with other stately homes in the area, which were earmarked for the Prime Minister and the War Cabinet. No one except the highest echelons of government knew anything about it, not then, nor for a long time afterwards. In the middle of a war, the last thing you want to do is to tell an enemy where your highest leadership or most important national people are going to be. It, it is absolutely obvious that the nature of these moves would be kept secret, and indeed were kept secret for a very long time after the war ended. Plans like the Black Move now sound like the plot of an airport novel. Weeds choke the concrete blocks that once formed the defences of this country. The coils of barbed wire have vanished from the beaches and the pillboxes that remain are gradually crumbling away. It's hard to believe that just 60 years ago, Britain was a fortress and that huge swathes of the land were under military control. What remains is the memory of those who lived through it, of the men and women who were spies, resistance fighters and foot soldiers, prepared to lay down their lives to protect Britain. I would have done anything at all if I could have helped to have kept the Germans back from taking this country. And I would have done anything terrible to do it. Robert Redford and Brad Pitt star in the espionage thriller Spy Game over on Film 4 in a few minutes. Here on Channel 4 next, it's all about Christmas Eve in ER.